What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dark Light coming right back at you with some more news in the gaming community. Now, as y'all can see, this is a shock of me. I was pretty much basically like Sega is going to be completely done. But as we can see here on CCN, Sega prepares console comeback and they're about to get wrecked. Most likely, it, uh, most likely, but I guarantee you, why now? I mean, I love Sega. I was born in 1990. My first console, my first game was the Sega Genesis, along with Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if it was the first one or the second one. One of them. But man, I would love to go and get another, go through another Sega. I have just about played every console that has been out. Sega Genesis, I don't have them. I don't have every console, but I've played every. Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, uh, anything. Uh, Dang, I can't. Even, I just went blank all of a sudden. I was just saying for the name, but I just went blank. But anyway, I love Sega. Always have, always will. And trust me, you know I do. When you sit here, you be like, man, I got Aladdin. Got that six pack. Well, on the six pack, you had Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, the hardest game ever. For me, it was. I don't know about everybody else. Columns, Super Hang On. Then you had Shinobi 3. Bro, I mean, look, trust me. Look, 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 look here. It, ooh, ooh, these, this is what I was playing. Now, this ain't all of them, you know. Earthworm Gym, NCAA, Jurassic Park. This is all scratched up, but this is the Ninja Turtle. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Double Dragon. Street Street. And you know, you just had when you had all the controller. Bro, I'm trying. Uh, yeah, this is. Yeah. Now, you know I was a fan. Now, I don't know whether my rest of them, where the rest of my games are. You know, it's hard. I got to find them again. I don't, the console is somewhere. But you know, I am a Sega fan. And I've been wanting to come back, make a comeback for a while now. Now to actually hear that it might something is about to happen. Because y'all know, man, if you had Sega, first off, if, and let me let me backtrack a little. If you had Sega, you knew you was a diehard game. Because I guarantee you, Sega is what taught you how to master just about every game and i don't mean like you just jump right in you the big dog but to be able to play a game and you play it for, for hours until you beat it and trust me it was it was this shinobi game not well i i i had trouble with this one but it, the first one was strictly hard bro that is you know you a die hard game but seeing this right here, I don't know what to say, man. But anyway, let's see what they're about to say. There may be a new console coming from Sega of all companies, but it can't. But can it compete against Xbox Series X and PlayStation Five? Probably not. I mean, I don't because. Nintendo is his own thing to me, but I don't. Nintendo it won't even be on their level, so on their level. So seeing this in the situation, seeing this in the situation, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, so let's go. One journalist is teasing some big Sega news for June fourth on a Saturday. June third is the group 60th anniversary. Is Sega be pre prepping to re-enter the console war? 2020 is the year of the next generation console. The Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5 are slated to launch this holiday season. But there may be new hardware entering the battle. 
coming from Sega of all companies. Is Sega ready for a comeback? Sega, of course, left the console war after its Dreamcast in 1998. I was eight years old. And I played the heck out of it. Especially when, with some friends and stuff. We That's all we did was play Sega Dreamcast. Since then, the group has focused on Sonic, Total War, Yakuza, and its, and its other franchises. And I think that's from other companies, from other people. However, one Japanese journalist, journalist Sinji Nishikawa claimed to have a huge scoop on Sega in a recent live stream that it that and it should be shared in the June fourth issue of Famitsu, according to a report from Gimatsu. I hope I said that right. I know I butchered it. Nishika, Nishikawa says my column in next week's issue of Famitsu. It's crazy. I have a, I got a huge scoop. It's a world premiere article and in and an exclusive. It may not be Nick K or Weekly Busham Busham. But if you want to know if it's a big scoop, it's totally and then he confirms later on he's talking about Sake. Okay. So considering June thirds is Sega sixtieth. Anniversary, there's a reason to think the company is re-entering the hardware game. That sh would be a terrible idea. Mm. Not unless you a diehard Sega. I get it. The only thing is, you, you probably going to have to make it cheaper. That's the only way. I mean, I don't know if I'm willing to spend a good $500, $400 on a whole new Sega. Unless they got some stuff. Some brand new stuff that they've been updating way beyond P PlayStation, the PS5, and Xbox. Nishikawa notes his scoop isn't about a Dreamcast 2, but who's to say? Sega won't release a brand new console for its big anniversary. Now, after all, the group has released many versions of its old hardware over the years. Now that would have been cool if they just they've been working on this system for years, and all of a sudden they just come out the blue. BAM! That would that would first off that would be messed up. That would be cool. Second of all, they'd be like, "Wait, what? What happened?" We we chose have been shocked as fa Sega fans. Also, er earlier this year, Sega revealed a new character related to his brand. This character name is Sega Shiro, portrayed by Mito, uh, Manto Fujioka. Fuji. I'm just saying, Mount Fuji. Why is that notable? Well, Mato is the son of Hiroshi, Hiroshi Fujioka, who betrayed the Sagata Senshiro character used to promote the Sega Saturn in the mid-90s. Hmm. Why follow up a remarkable character if you're not following up on the product he was meant for? It's almost as if Sega is giving up for a big advertisement push. Advertising push. The competition is too heavy. The thing is, a new console would mean competing against hardware giants, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony. We're already waiting on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 price points. Who wants to save another save for another console? Me. Plus, the world is already in a financial struggle due to the pandemic. Is now it really the time to reveal an expensive new box? That's what I'm saying. They're gonna have to make it cheaper. Cause I don't know if it can put up against, go up against the Microsoft, Nintendo, and PlayStation. I don't know. Sega wouldn't be the only retro uh, company looking to make a comeback either. Of all the groups, Atari is working on a PC console hybrid device, dubbed the Atari VCS. That's even more competition. A PC console hybrid. Wait, what? We'll know for sure next week, but Sega should absolutely be wary, wary, the, wary the world can only afford so many consoles. Ooh. Well, I mean, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? 
like I said, in my mind, I think they're going to have to make this cheaper. Because I don't think, out of all this time, since, what, 1998 was the last official console for Sega, then they teamed, I think they teamed up with uh, Microsoft, Xbox. Y'all let me know. I think that's what happened. Something happened between Sega and Microsoft. And they start and Microsoft started making their games. Some people say the uh, original Xbox was pretty much like hardware for a new Sega. I mean, the Sega Dreamcast too. But who knows? I mean, I I don't know because you're talking about at all all these years since 1998. It's 2020. That is um, that's 22 years, I believe. Let me see. 2020. Yeah, that's 22 years. That's a very long time, unless you've been learning a bunch of stuff to make the find a way to find the stuff people like and hate. I mean that that now that would that's that's one way to think. If you're gonna build a whole game system, go through the years of what people like, listen to what pe to the fans like, the do's and don'ts of video games. Even if you decide to do your own, you do something that's your own. You somehow manage to just if you manage to do something just totally different from everything else. Then we need to find. If you don't have a console out June fourth, at least have some type of specs. A soft, you're gonna need something. And like I said, to bring something like this out now when we're generations <laughs> later, Pete, PlayStation Five and Xbox Series X is getting ready to come out. I can say you're gonna have to make the Sega way cheaper. Cause truth be told, I don't think. Like I said, yeah, the three main consoles: Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, PlayStation Five, Nintendo, uh, whatever, and Xbox Series X. So you got those, and then uh, you hear Atari got something coming up. PC hybrid. I, I don't know about hybrid stuff because it don't seem like it's gonna be top notch unless they Atari makes it where is the computer or PC is built so advanced that any other you could put any game on it or whatever from Xbox, Nintendo, and all, and it's, it it didn't just show complete greatness. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I believe the Sega is going to have to definitely be cheaper. You got to give us some type of good specs. All these years, you have to have learned something. And then you got to be ready to bring out some new, have some games. Ahead. Some companies got to be out there now to be willing to have a team to create some new games for the Sega. I, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Dark Light will catch you guys next time. Cheerio.